Congressman Dean Phillips of Minnesota. He has an inconvenient message. He has a message that the Democratic establishment does not want to hear. He has a message that most Democrats are concerned about, but he also has a message that every single Democrat is thinking about. And you know what? While everybody is concerned about President Biden's age, it's not about President Biden's age at all. It's about the perception that the body politic has with regards to whether they want to elect this person again. And you can wish something on to anybody. You can make it seem as if it's the only option. But if ultimately the majority doesn't want you, and when I say the majority in America, it doesn't mean a popular majority. It means the majority in the appropriate states that give you an electoral college win. If that isn't there, then you can't win. And this is, in fact, the time that Democrats need to be honestly discussing this issue, not with attacks, not with retributions or anything like that, but with eyes wide open. It pains me to even bring this subject up because, again, we have a President Biden who, personally, I didn't support initially. I voted for him, but I didn't support him initially because he wasn't sufficiently progressive for me and for my wing of the party. However, I must say that he has proven to be much more progressive than any one of us otherwise would have thought him to be. And as such, I find him an acceptable president for 2024. And if there were a, the ability to bring a more progressive president in for the next four years, I would support it. However, I have a very hard time right now seeing the pathway that we could actually have to bring in a more progressive candidate that can actually both win a Democratic primary, not and even if they don't win the Democratic primary, not damage the prospects of a Democratic win, and likewise not ensure that there is a Republican win. And, and, and the thing about it is that Republican could be Trump. But the truth of the matter is, while we are all banking on Trump to win, there's a possibility that something happens that kicks him out of the game. And I believe any younger candidate with a narrative, a false narrative, albeit, could actually, based on the numbers right now, be problematic for the Democrats. So number one, Making the assumption that it's definitely going to be Trump to, to win is an issue. And secondly, thinking that those four states that Biden is down in right now can turn around, it's a possibility. But we have to have eyes wide open and we have to see what the alternatives are. It's not the person. The fight should never be the individual. It should always be the collective, the American collective. I want you to listen to Dean Phillips. Uh, he doesn't sound at all malicious. He doesn't sound like he wants to stir the pot. He's just saying, I have the courage to come out here and say, let's start asking questions. Let's listen to this and then we'll take it on the other side. Minnesota Congressman Dean Phillips is calling for a more competitive Democratic primary, saying voters don't want a coronation, they want a competition. Phillips, who is in his third term representing suburban Minneapolis, let me tell you a few, a little bit about him. He lost his father in Vietnam. After business school at the University of Minnesota, Mr. Phillips joined the family business, Phillips Distilling. He went on to help build Talenti Gelato 
into a top-selling gelato brand and also opened Penny's Coffee, a small business in the Twin Cities. And he is, like I said, in his third term. Phillips has denounced, by the way, the no labels attempt to field a third party ticket. But he has called for serious Democratic primary challengers to President Biden. And last week, he met with Democratic donors in New York about the race and potentially entering it himself if no one else does. Congressman Phillips, welcome to the press. Good to be with you. Chair. If I sum this up right, you are not interested in being a candidate for president technically yourself right now, or are you? That's a fair statement. Okay. What, what I'm technically and legitimately doing is representing. I'm a representative and I'm representing what I believe to be the majority of the country that wants to turn the page. Tired of the meanness and the fear mongering of Donald Trump. Would like to see Joe Biden, and a, a wonderful and remarkable man, yeah. pass the torch, uh, cement this extraordinary legacy. You don't want him to run for re-election. I, be, I believe what's in the best interest of the country, and by the way, this is not how everybody thinks, but I do believe a majority wants to move on. I hear from way too many people. Now, this is The news was that I was meeting with donors. The fact is I listen to normal Americans every day and my own feelings. And is the this fact all about is, age? This is, no, no, this is about how people feel. By the way, it's not about what's real all the time. It's about how people feel. People want to turn the page. As a Democrat, I adore Joe Biden. He saved this country. He can cement his legacy. The call to action is to ask the president to pass the torch. There is an extraordinary bench, extraordinary bench of people ready to go, proximate, who, who would you like to see in position. This I would like to see a moderate governor, hopefully from the heartland, from one of the four states that Democrats will need. But I'm speaking truth. That's my job. My duty mm -hmm. is to the people I represent, but also to represent the mass majority. And, and, and I just I want to say this about Democrats. It's really important. Joe Biden right now is down seven points in the four swing states that will decide the next election. He has historically mm -hmm. low approval numbers, Chuck. Eight, there are about 55 percent of Democrats would like to see an alternative. I can keep going down the no, list. The I, fact I, of the matter is everything you're saying we've all heard in right. private as well. Why do you think it's all private? Why do you think this this hand wringing hasn't is only really gone public through you? It's very simple. People are focused on self-preservation and not principle. There is no political reward in the United States right now for simply speaking the truth. Look at what happened to my Republican colleagues who dared do the right thing and support the Constitution. Support the Constitution. But you, you believe the Hunter Biden news actually reinforces this even more, don't you? I don't think the president is corrupt. I think the investigation will show that. But and this is the important part. It's the image. It's it's what the news will do. We know what era we live in in partisanship. It is the attachment to the president. Most people aren't watching Meet the Press every Wouldn't weekend. Wouldn't this happen to any and Democratic nominee? It probably will, and it saddens me. And okay. I'm, that's and these are the people I'm trying to represent right now, Chuck. The people who are sick and tired of this nonsense. We have a duopoly. We have a political industrial complex that, if they agree on anything, it's the status quo. And by the way. Now, I have trouble with Donald Trump. I do not have trouble with Trumpers who are trying to find somebody mm -hmm. to change the system. The, I, the hardware is fine. The software is a problem. The people with whom we're populating the system, and I understand the need for transparency. Yeah. We need to restore faith in government. We should do that in a thoughtful, meaningful, legitimate, and bipartisan manner, and it can be done. We need leaders in the next generation to do so. And I'm just simply expressing that point of view that I think is shared by a majority of Americans. What can President Biden do to reassure you he is up to a second term? I'm not saying he's not up to a second term. What I'm saying is look at the data. I listen, my job is to listen. I do it every single day back in Minnesota. Right, can he change the, the data? That's the challenge. I, I come from the marketing world, you just explained my background. Sometimes you got a product that is extraordinary, meets the moment, you think is gonna be the next big thing, and it just doesn't happen. And in business, you gotta recognize it because the data speaks the truth. The data is speaking the truth right now. And if nobody's willing to talk about it before, it's too late, that's the yeah. key. The case not against late. what you're talking about is basically the history of our lifetimes, okay? You go back, the last four sitting presidents who had serious primary challengers, that party lost the White House. But Chuck, go LBJ, why did, why did they, we can go back to LBJ, yeah, but also Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter, Ronald George H.W. Bush. But why were they primaried? Because people recognized they were weakened, the country was ready to turn the page. Now we can have a, we could have an hour debate on this subject. I understand that. I don't want to be. I ran for Congress in 26 after the 2016 election. Mm -hmm. I woke up that next morning. My teenage daughters were in tears. I promised them I would do something. I'm not going to be quiet now. Five years later, when the same trauma 
could be afflicting the country if Donald Trump is reelected. So I will do nothing to ensure that Donald Trump is reelected. But Chuck, it's really important yeah. that people know this. I'm doing just the opposite. And if people aren't willing, willing right now to have that yeah. conversation, to have the discussion, and most importantly, yeah. to present some alternatives, how in the world are we going to look at these numbers and say everything's okay? But hopes and dreams and prayers, I love them. They don't solve gun violence. They don't give health insurance mm -hmm. to Americans, right? And they sure as heck won't change the numbers that I'm seeing right now. Uh, have you talked to Joe Manchin? You want him to run in a Democratic primary instead of as an independent for no labels? I want anybody who wants to run, Joe Manchin, Cornell West, mm -hmm. any of the governors. You want him in the primary? In the primary. That's why we have primaries, because that doesn't undermine the likelihood of returning, in this case, a Democrat to the White House. So that is the key. Enter the primary, right. my friends. Everybody who is on the bench, meet the moment. Don't wait five years. We need you now. Again, I don't think there is a malicious bone in Dean Phillips' body. I think he is showing a legitimate concern that many have, that many are fearful to put out there into the ethos. But kudos to him for bringing it up and ensuring that we actually have a discussion. So discuss away, folks. Let's really look at things not the way we had hoped they would be, but the way they are. Let's look at what he says, the data. Sometimes you can have the best product that doesn't sell. As an engineer myself, I've gone through of that. I've made the best check-in software long time ago that never sold. And it was good. It was much better than many things out there. So let's look at things the way they are and not the way we hope they would be. Let's look at how they are how they're likely to be in the future. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.